Ready and Consider waiting. Consider done. On my way, sir. Consider done. Ready and waiting. On my way, sir. Right away, sir. Ready to kill. Ready to kill. Ready to kill. Ready to kill. On my way, Ready to kill. Ready to kill. On my complete. way. Consider done. On my way, sir. Lock and loaded. Right away, sir. Ready and waiting. Right away, sir. 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 On my way, sir. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Game Dev with AI. Mike here. We are in the place where we are going to develop our first indie real-time strategy game in Construct 3 without any programming skills whatsoever. I've never made a game before. This is my first game and I'm very excited to get things done. In this series, we're covering all the aspects of the game development from scratch using the help of AI tools like ChatGPT and of course some experts from Fiverr. Are you ready? Let's get started. In this video, we are going to cover creating the turning turrets. This will be a shooting Gatling tower and also the jeep. We have this beautiful little army jeep with an enemy sitting inside and the gun of the jeep is also a tower which is pinned to the jeep. So when jeep is moving, the tower is turning around and shooting to the right targets. Let's see how we got these things done. Let's start with a simple one with a turret on the base. In case of turrets, it consists of two objects basically. The base of the tower. This is just a sprite, doesn't do anything. But it takes the damage. In our last video, we were developing the fighting system. So if you missed it, make sure to check it out. We already covered it. Every enemy object we have has instant variables called health, which will define how long it can take the beating. The top of the turret is a sprite as well. It's called turret. Oh, it's called. Oh yeah, it's called turret gatling. Turret gatling will be shooting the bullets. And I'll explain to you later which one. So let's first check what it is. So this is a sprite of the turret gatling. And we have again two image points. It's very important. The main one, origin zero, it's the point where it will be turned around. It will be turning around relative to this point. And the second one, you can right click add new image point, which called point one, is right here in the turret where the bullets will be coming from. That's why we have two origin points. Now on the turret we apply behavior such as line of sight to make sure it sees our enemies. And we set a range as 400. By default it's way too much. So reduce range to 3 or 400. And also turret which automatically helps rotate it and shoot. This is very helpful in Construct 3. Let's check turret behavior. Turret range is how far it can shoot. It's not line of sight. Don't get confused. So these are two different. You can see but not shoot. It's different things. But they should be more or less the same, I guess. Because if there's no point seeing if you're not shooting. All right. Then you have rate of fire, how quickly it's shooting. Rotate, so it can rotate around. Rotate speed, how fast the turret is rotated in the direction of the enemy. Projectile speed, it's very fast because we have bullets and if you have rockets it should be slower. Use collision cells, obviously you need to collide with the enemies. Now we go to our code. And I create a new group called turret and machine gun bullet. In case of uh, this is turret jeep, let's start with Gatling. Okay. If we have line of sight of our units, because we're talking about enemy tower, it's a bad tower. Blue is bad, green, uh, red is good ones. All right. So if we have line of sight of our units, turret 
Gatlin is taking a target of our units. And there is one also very important parameter of the shooting, it's called predictive aim. What it does, it's trying to predict where you're moving. Imagine this is a bullet and this is my hero. If I don't enable predictive aim, it will be shooting in his position right now. So if he is moving, it will be always missing. So this will look terrible. With predicting aim, if he is moving, the gun is trying to predict where he is going, so it's shooting more accurately and it looks much better. Now, on target shoot, on the behavior when we acquire the target acquired and we target shoot, we set our bullet animation. We have several types of bullets of the bullet machine gun. If you missed our previous video, we create a sprite. The same way we created our rocket, we created the sprite bullet machine gun, which is just two types of different bullets. And then uh, we edit behavior and set bullet and also destroy outside layout so it doesn't fly forever. So we choose which bullet we're going to shoot and we spawn bullet of machine gun in the image point one. That's why I explained to you we have two origin points. We want bullet to come not from the middle of machine gun but from the barrel. Now we play the sound machine gun too. It's with bad ta 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 ta. Then we wait 0 0.3 seconds. We fire second bullet. Then we wait not 0.3 seconds. We fire another bullet and then another one because we want to fire not like pam 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 pam, but we want boom 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 and then stop. Boom 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 and then stop. So this will look better. And here we can add a small delay, for example, system, wait, and now let's say delay two seconds. So this way we'll have boom, 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 and then wait two seconds, boom, 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 and then wait two seconds. If we remove this, it will be firing all the time. All right. Then I edit also, very important to kill the bullets so they don't fly forever. Bullet, if distance is traveled more than 700 for the bullet, we destroy the bullet, right? And of course we need uh, to check if bullet is intersecting with our units. So we add condition bullet on collision with our units. Uh, then we spawn the spark effect that we created in a previous video. We play the sound, choose one of the hit the metal. Then we destroy the bullet just in case. And we subtract the health from our robot. And we wait a little bit and we destroy our spark. So let's test this out. This is a turret. Lock and loaded. Let's Considered go. done. Okay. If I come close to the range, it should Lock automatically ready to kill. start firing. Ready, ready to kill. Need to be closer. Okay, it's turning. And now firing. Ready to kill. All right. And in jeep has the same behavior. So if I walk around Lock the jeep, I kill this guy. Okay. If I walk around the jeep. To start firing at me. I was forcing our robot to walk under fire. It wasn't supposed to walk. I was just forcing it Ready and to show you Consider that done. it's following Ready to him. Kill. Right away, sir. Okay. Right away, Ready to kill. It's trying to predict the position and on destroyed, everything is destroyed. So far so good. Let's get to the jeep real quick. So like any uh, unit, Jeep has uh, pathfinding enabled because it's moving and our Gatling gun is not moving. So this is our spare Jeep enemy. It has following behaviors. Pathfinding, 
timer to randomize everything and bound to layout to make sure it stays in the game and uh, we have the turret for the jeep it's called turret jeep it has in in edit behaviors it has turret again line of sight and also one more called pin this way we can pin our turret this is a jeep this is its turret and it's pinned to the jeep this way if jeep is moving the turret will stay pinned to the jeep and it doesn't stay in one place This is how we did it. Again, turret of the Jeep on, on line side of our units because Jeep is bad. Again, at the beginning, it's blue. We set acquire target of our units. And we add again Jeep on turret shot. Condition and on this condition, we generate bullet from the Jeep turret. Again, Jeep turret must have two points, origin points. So bullet comes from the right point, from the barrel. We spawn the bullet from the point one. Then we play the audio, audio from machine gun. We wait and we spawn two more bullets. And when target... Uh, Ah, this is already Gatlin. All right, so this is our Jeep behavior. And now we just need to pin our Jeep turret to the Jeep. And this is done here. So Jeep turret, Jeep turret is uncreated when it's created in the game. It's pinned to the Jeep in coordinates X and Y. And also very important to destroy it together with the Jeep. So in case Jeep is destroyed, the turret of the Jeep should also be destroyed. Makes sense. All right, finally, let's test everything again. Here we have Jeep, we have our robot. Lock and loaded. Let's Ready walk around kill. somewhere. Done. And Jeep should start, oh, sorry, I missed it. He was way Ready too far, out of range. Done. Now, see, it's shooting. The turret is turning, and now it's dead. Now let's go complete. check right away, sir. our turret. Ready and waiting. Ready to kill. Okay, Lock it's loaded. out of range. Right away, sir. Okay, it's turning and it's shooting. Kill. It's killed me. Kill. Other one. Right away, sir. Done. Perfect. It's working. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching, we'll continue our development. Next plan is to develop the destruction of the tank. Tanks shooting, Construction complete. enemies dying, some fun animations, explosions, a lot of fun stuff coming. Let me know as always in comments below what we should focus next. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next time. Cheers. Mike's out.